some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we will take a look at Travis Hines as he reaches a uh, tough decision in his life as he is being held accountable for his own actions and uh, Will makes the decision whether or not to skip town to face justice or be the coward and uh, run away like a scared little boy. I mean, really tough call for a fraudster. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Travis Hines. Oh, shit. And today, I want to discuss a legal situation that I'm currently preparing for, potentially facing a bail jumping charge in Louisiana while I'm traveling through Michigan. My court date is set for October 18th at 9 a.m., but due to certain circumstances, I anticipate that I might not be able to attend. You're a coward. And you'll be branded a coward for the rest of your days. Well, your uh, court date is uh, well over a month away, dude. I mean, uh, you couldn't make accommodations to, uh, uh, well, postpone it, uh, talking to the judge or something like that. Maybe getting a continuance because, you know, announcing that you're going to possibly do this kind of act is not exactly going to help you in the court when it's time to uh, face justice, you dumbass. This presentation will walk you through the considerations and challenges that come with this scenario. To provide some context, I'm scheduled to appear in court in Louisiana on October 18th. Missing this court date could result in a bail jumping charge which is taken seriously in Louisiana. Uh, originally, although my original charge is a misdemeanor, failing to appear in court could lead to additional legal consequences. Currently, I'm traveling through Michigan, which complicates the situation, since I may be out of state when the court date arrives. Dude, you are quite literally an unemployed Frauder, you live out of your car by your own decision, so the solution is simple. Drive down to Louisiana and take care of this. I mean, you just got to drive a few hours to get there and uh, see what happens. And like I said, it'll only take you a few hours because, you know, you have uh, over a month before the uh, uh, court date, you know. I mean, take care of it. Don't be a dumbass and skip out. In Louisiana, bail jumping is defined as failing to appear in court as required. The penalties for bail jumping vary depending on whether the original charge is a misdemeanor or felony. Even with a misdemeanor, the consequences can include fines and possible jail time. If I miss October 18th court date, Louisiana could issue a warrant for my arrest. This leads to a potential issue with extradition, as I would be in Michigan when the warrant is issued. Extradition is a legal process where one state requests the transfer of a person charged with a crime from another state. If Louisiana issues a warrant and requests extradition, Michigan authorities could arrest me and hold an extradition hearing. The hearing wouldn't focus on whether I'm guilty of bail jumping, but rather on the validity of the extradition request. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Yeah, dude, the uh, warrant wouldn't be for the extradition. It would be uh, for the bail jumping itself. The extradition uh, format would happen a little bit later on when and if you get caught 
doing another crime in another state. And when you're being held for that particular crime that you committed, they can uh, do an extradition hearing and determine whether or not that uh, Louisiana will be coming for you. It's, a, it's like that, you dumbass. In some cases, especially with misdemeanors, a state might decide against pursuing extradition due to the costs and logistics involved. However, if Louisiana doesn't extradite me, the warrant could remain active indefinitely, leaving the case unresolved. Given this situation, I'm considering several options. One is to attempt to attend the, bail, the court dates in Louisiana to avoid any charges of bail jumping. If attending isn't possible, I could work with a lawyer to request a continuance, negotiate a resolution, or explore other legal options before the court date. Oh yeah, if you don't appear in court, then yeah, they will issue a warrant. But the thing is, uh, Travis, warrants don't exactly last forever. I mean, I still wouldn't uh, advise you to do it because, you know, it would still lead to more serious consequences in the end. But hey, that's your damn life. If you want to continue to ruin it, then that is your prerogative. If you want to continue to live in your car rather than be a productive member of society, well, that's your own issue right there. So you got to live with your choices, no matter how stupid your decisions end up being. If I miss the court date and Louisiana issues a warrant, turning myself in to Michigan authorities might demonstrate a willingness to resolve the situation, though it would likely trigger the extradition process. In conclusion, anticipating a possible bail jumping charge when you are out of state is a complex legal matter that requires careful consideration and planning. I strongly advise anyone in a similar situation in a similar position to seek legal counsel early, understand the relevant laws in both states, and explore all available options to avoid additional legal complications. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my situation. I hope this discussion helps others who might find themselves in a similar predicament to navigate these challenges more effectively. Travis, what is so complicated about facing up to your own actions, facing up to uh, your own uh, accountability? I mean, uh, you frauditors tend to uh, preach about accountability and everything like that, but when accountability comes knocking at your door, you tend to run away like a bunch of scared little boys, right? I mean, that's typical. I mean, uh, that's typical frauditor behavior. Hell, they hold everybody else accountable except yourself. And when justice comes a-knocking for you, uh, skip town. But you know what, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. <laughs>